Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. <laughs> this is so awesome. All of my toys are out in the living room. I love this. <laughs> Look at this adorable cat. Meow, 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 meow. Da -da -da -ba 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 Woo, messy, messy. Da -da -da -ba fine, fine. That's right, baby Kira, it is fun. It's not really that messy. I did a bubble, yes. Messy, messy. Ooh, fun, fun. Yeah, okay, it's a little messy, but it's super fun. I play. It's a double boy, it's a bubble. Whoa, what's this huge mess in the living room for, Molly? What, what, what's this? What do you mean, huge mess? Molly, you put all of your toys out into the living room. Mom's going to be mad at you. She always says, keep your toys in the in your bedrooms, please. Don't make a mess in the common areas. Okay, yeah, but I'm going to clean it up, Daisy. Yeah, wait, right, Molly. You better clean it up right now. No way, Daisy. You're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, Molly, I'm just warning you. Mom's going to be mad. Mad about what? Girls, who made this giant mess? We all did, Mom. Molly, that's not true. Yeah, it is, Mom. Everybody made a mess. Well, I told you girls to keep your toys in your room. Ugh, the last time you girls played out in the living room like this with all of your toys, I had to pick it up after work at midnight. I know, Mom, but this time we're going to be super good about it. We promise. Fun, fun. Okay, well, I'm going to run an errand. When I get back, I want you girls to have all of these toys picked up. Okay, Mom, sure, we'll do it, we promise. Okay, well, I hope so. Molly, you said I pulled all these toys out. No, I didn't. This was all your idea. And you shouldn't tell people fibs. Naughty, naughty. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I figured you just want to play with these toys, so you'd be partially to blame. No, Molly, I don't want to play with the toys. And you can't hold baby Kira responsible. She's a baby. Speaking of a baby, come on, baby Kira, it's time for your nap. No, do, 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 ba, ba, no, no. Yes, baby Kira, do you want to sit in time out? No. Okay, then, come on, it's time for your nap. I'm going to give my baby sister a nap, and then, um, yeah, I've lost stuff I got to do. Go on, get in your bed. Nighty night, sleep tight. Have a good nap, baby Kira. You're so cute and cuddly. But go to sleep. Good night. Yeah, night night. Oh, I have this huge mess to clean up. Nobody wants to do that. That's not even fun. Hot tub time and the brightly colored unicorns on. Yes, best day ever. I'll clean up that mess later. Ah, so relaxing. Look at me, just chilling in the hot tub. Molly, did you pick up that mess yet? Uh-huh, yeah, sure, sure I did. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, no you didn't. I'm looking at that huge mess right now. Stop watching TV, stop being in the hot tub, and go clean up your giant mess. Oh, Daisy, I'll clean it up later. Don't nag me. Molly, I'm only nagging you because you're not listening. Uh-huh, sure. Sure you are. Get out of there, Molly. Fine, I'll clean it up. Go in your room or something. Fine, Molly, I'm not helping you. I didn't make the mess. Okay, cool. Finally, my sister's gone. Oh, I'm starving. Better have a snack before I clean up that mess. Let's see, what should I have? Um, ooh, fruit smoothie, a pear, an orange, some cereal! That sounds delicious! I'm gonna have some Roros. 
Just gonna pour this into the bowl. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. I like it with some milk on it. Well, I mean, I don't know how else you would eat your cereal. It's not like you'd pour soup on it. Mmm. <laughs> These burros are delicious. Mmm, yeah. Ah, oh, now I feel awesome. Time to go play on my computer. Molly, did you clean that up? 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 Oh my gosh, my sister is annoying. Molly, you didn't even clean it up and now you're playing a game. Mom's gonna be home soon and she's going to say, Molly, you're grounded. No, 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 I've got plenty of time. She won't be home anytime soon. Molly, yes, she will be home. She will be home very soon. Uh huh, sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've got to beat this boss. Molly, stop playing that video game. Fine, I'm going to my room. I'm not responsible for you, Molly. That's right, Daisy. You're not. You're definitely not. Hey, what's going on here? Daisy, come back here right this instant. What, well, Mom? What did I do? Molly, you come here too, please. Um, okay. Um. Whoa, Mom forgot to close the door. I'm gonna close it. That way we don't have anybody wandering in here. Molly, what is this mess? Daisy, what is this mess? <gasps> Daisy, I put the toys away and then you took them back out. Daisy, that's very naughty. You're grounded for a whole week. But, but I, 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 uh. No, I don't want to hear it, Daisy. Go to your room. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just playing on my computer, being a good kid and all that. Okay, well, I guess I'm cleaning this all up. Yeah, sorry about that, Mom. Oh, oh boy, I almost got caught. That would have been horrible. Too bad my sister got caught. Ah, oh, there's such a huge mess here. I can't believe that Daisy didn't listen. That's so unlike her. Mom, I I need to talk to you, please. Oh, Daisy. I know that this is the first time you've been bad, really, in a long time. But you really are grounded, honey. I'm sorry. But it wasn't the truth. What do you mean it wasn't the truth? I mean, I I, I didn't do this. You you didn't. But, but Molly said you did. But she was lying. I didn't. I, I didn't make the mess in the first place. And I didn't make it the second time. It was Molly. And when you left and she said she would clean it, she didn't. She got in the hot tub. And then she played on the computer and stuff, and she didn't do it. <gasps> she didn't? Okay, Daisy, I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you the first time. I'll go find Molly, and you're not grounded. Thank you, Mom. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Daisy. Thanks for telling me the truth. <laughs> I love this game. It's so fun. Molly, I have a question for you. Okay, Mom, but I'm playing this game right now. Um, no, you're not. Uh-oh. This sounds serious, Mom. What is it? Did you lie about Daisy making that mess? Um, the... Molly, don't lie. Um, yes. Molly, I'm so disappointed in you. You know better than that. I know, I just panicked because, well, well, I didn't want to get in trouble and I was just having fun and I didn't want to have to pick it up. But is it fair that I should have to pick it up or your sisters when you've made the mess or dad? Um, yes? No, Molly, the answer is no. It's not fair that we should have to pick up your messes. Now, I want you to pick up your mess and you're grounded. But, Mom, the carnival's this weekend! And if you can be a good girl by then, maybe I'll consider lifting your grounding. But until then, you're grounded. Oh, this is horrible! Yep, it sure is, Molly, but you're the one that put yourself in this boat. Oh, I've got to clean up all these toys and I'm grounded. And Molly, I really hope you um consider being good because you want to be able to go to the carnival, right? Uh, yeah, I do want to go to the carnival. Well, then I think you should be on your best behavior. <laughs> oh, look at this octopus. It's so cute. Molly, you're not supposed to play with the toys. Put them away, please. Okay, I'm putting them away. Molly, Mom, what's for dinner? Molly... Don't think about dinner right now. Just go clean, okay? 
But mom, cleaning is boring. I know it's boring, but if you make the mess, then you're the one that has to clean it up. Okay, mom, I guess you're right. That's good, Molly. I'm glad you see things my way. <laughs> yeah, moms always have their way, and basically, you have to follow them. Well, that's just because we're keeping you safe and we're teaching you so you can grow up to be good people. Yeah, I know. It's just hard having to do all these chores sometimes. Hey, Toy Hero fans, so I kind of got grounded for being naughty, but I'm going to be on my best behavior so I can go to the carnival this weekend. Hey, guys, if you want to see what's happening with my Roblox family, make sure you subscribe to all four of my channels. Well, our family channels. I just have one channel, and my sister has a channel too. So the channels are The Toy Heroes, The Toy Heroes Games, Gaming with Molly, and Gaming with Daisy. Oh, I really wish that I hadn't. I'm just just slacked off and not done any of my chores. Molly, what are you doing right now? Uh, sitting on the couch talking to the Toy Hero fans. Molly, you're supposed to be cleaning that up. Oops. Okay, guys, I really got to go because I've got to clean up all this mess. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, yeah. Family life is on. Molly, aren't you going to study for your math test? What? No. Why would I do that? Because, Molly, don't you want to get a good grade and make mom and dad proud of you? Um, uh, uh, not really. Molly, could you stop being a nag? Nag, 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 Okay, fine, whatever, Molly. I'm going to get a great grade, though. Well, congratulations. You're amazing. For the most part, I was very pleased with everyone's test results. I can tell you guys have been doing your homework and studying. There were a few of you, though, that really need to work harder. Don't know who she's talking about there. <laughs> you, Molly, probably you. What? No, I'm sure I did fine. Molly, you didn't even study for the test. Okay, everyone, I'm going to be handing the tests out. Let me know if you have any questions. Molly, I really think that you need to work a little bit harder. Um, oh, wow, a 70, I passed. Congratulations, Daisy, you got a 100. Of course she did, who cares? Molly, I went hard for this grade. What are you gonna tell mom when she sees that test, Molly? Um, I was kind of not gonna tell her about it. Let me just stuff it in my pocket. Mom, mom, I got a great grade. Oh, Daisy, there you are. <laughs> Hi, welcome home from school. Hey, Molly. Hey, mom. I got a hundred on my test. Oh, wow, cool. Molly, where's your test? I don't know. I think my unicorn ate it. Molly, you shoved it in your pocket. Uh, Molly, let me see it, please. A 70, huh? Yep, a 70. Passing, right, Mom? Yeah, that is passing, Molly. That's not too bad. I think you did a great job. Wait, what? She didn't even do a homework or study. But she still passed. Now, did you get the bonus problem right, Daisy? Um, no. I, I didn't know that that was going to be a question. It was really hard. Well, I guess you could have gotten a 105 then, right? Always room for improvement. <laughs> I got a 70. That's good enough. But, but, but Molly is a... Uh... Oh, don't worry about Molly. Molly is Molly and Daisy is Daisy. Oh, wow. Another episode of Family Life. Ah, life couldn't get any better. Oh, there's my alarm. I should get up because I want to surprise Mom with doing all her chores. Not that Molly would ever do that. She's so lazy. All she does is sleep in. No, I want the purple unicorn. I don't want to ride the pink unicorn. That's not my favorite color. Mom's going to be so excited when she wakes up this morning and I have all of the house clean for her. Uh, then she's going to love me just as much as she loves Molly. I just know it. But now I have to mop. Just make everything so shiny and clean. Good morning, Daisy. Ugh, it's still kind of early, but it was kind of loud down here. What are you doing? 
I just did all the chores for Mom, so she would be so happy and less stressed. Did you make me some coffee? Uh, no, Marley. You are on your own. Okay, fine. Mmm. That's pretty good coffee. Good morning, girls! Ooh, Molly, you look tired still. Yeah, I might have to go back to bed for a little bit. I stayed up kind of late playing Roblox. Whoa, everything looks really clean. That's because I cleaned everything, Mom. I got up at 6 a.m. and I vacuumed and I mopped and I did the laundry and I did the dishes. Whoa, you did? That's really nice, thanks. So, Molly, are you still tired? Do you need to go back to bed, honey? But what about me? I did all this cleaning and I did a really good job. Yeah, that's nice. I'm, I'm so glad, Daisy, but look at Molly. Doesn't she look so tired? Do you need more coffee, Molly? Yeah, Mom, way more. Oh, sweetie, I could make you some waffles since you're one of my favorites. What? Did she say that that was her favorite? I can't believe this. No matter what I do, I'm never going to be the favorite or even, even remotely like, like one of the loved ones in this family. Like, I just feel like I'm nobody. I'm out of here. So, Molly, do you want peanut butter or do you want butter on your waffle? Uh, Mom, can I have one with butter and one with peanut butter? Of course you can, sweetie. Why don't you go lay on the couch while I make you breakfast? Okay, Mom, thanks. Daisy, come on. We're going to be late for school. Let's go. Daisy. Daisy. Mom, have you seen Daisy? No, I thought she was getting ready with you. No, I thought she was down here, but I don't see her anywhere. Let me try calling her cell phone. It's just ringing and ringing. Wait a minute, I got a message. This number is no longer in service. This number has been disconnected. What? It says Daisy's number's been disconnected. Are you kidding me? Where did she go? I don't know, she's nowhere in the house. Her phone's been turned off. <gasps> Mom, I think she might have run away. Okay, Molly, I'll handle this. You get to school. But Mom... No, Molly, I think you need to go to school. Um, is it okay if I fall asleep? Whatever, Molly. Just try to pass your grades, please. Okay, no promises, though. Man, I hope Daisy's okay. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Because nobody loves Daisy. Oh, this sandwich isn't too old. I'll just scrape the mold off of it. Yeah, that'll make a pretty good lunch. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Because nobody loves Daisy. Is that Daisy? Oh my gosh. Ew, is she eating a moldy sandwich? Daisy, what are you doing? Who are you? I don't even know who you are anymore. Daisy, that's not a nice thing to say to your mom. Mom, I don't have a mom. Daisy, what are you talking about? Why'd you run away? Of course I'm your mom. Are you going to stay in this tent and eat out of the dumpster? Yeah, I'm planning on it since no one loves me. Where did you get the idea that no one loves you? Your dad loves you and Molly loves you and... But you don't, Mom. Molly's your favorite. I know she is. No matter how good my grades are, no matter how many chores I do, no matter what I do, I'm never going to be as good as Molly to you. Daisy, that's not true at all. Yes, it is. She can do no wrong. Molly's definitely your favorite. I heard you even say it in the kitchen. Wait, what? No, I said she's one of my favorites. You're my other favorite and your baby sister too. But, wait, what? Maybe I heard that wrong. You definitely did. Look, each of you are my favorites in your own way. Molly's different than you. Daisy, sometimes I push you hard because I know... You need that. What do you mean? I mean, you love studying and getting good grades, and it means the world to you. I know that you're going to be some sort of brainiac someday, a scientist, a doctor, whatever you want, Daisy. But what about Molly? Um, well, Molly has her own career path. I guess you could call it that anyway. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you're just saying that you push me because you love me? That's right, honey. But if you feel too much pressure, I understand, and I won't push you as hard. Oh, I didn't know that was why, Mom. So you just want what's best for me? Of course I do, Daisy. 
I love you more than anything. Well, I mean, not more than your other sisters or your dad, but I love you all equally. Each of you have a special place in my heart. And how I treat you is how I feel is best for you, just like how I treat Molly is best for her. Okay, Mom, I sort of understand, but, um, I have a question. Anything? What is it? Do I still have to eat this moldy sandwich because I'm starving for lunch and my stomach's growling and... Uh, I don't really like moldy sandwiches. Oh, honey, what do you say we both go to Brookhaven Diner? I don't have to go to school? No, you have to go to school, <laughs> but you can have lunch first. Welcome to Brookhaven Diner. What can I get for you, sugar? Ooh, what's that smell? Oh, um, yeah, that would be me. Ugh, yuck, it smells so bad. Well, blame yourself. No one took the trash out of the dumpster. Isn't that part of your job? Uh, yeah, but gross. Well, I was super hungry, so I was looking for a sandwich. Oh my gosh, you poor girl. Are you a homeless orphan? No, she's my daughter. She just had a rough day. Now, we'd like to place our order, please. Oh, sure. Let me read you our specials today. We have liver and onions. Ew, gross. Well, it's better than dumpster sandwich, don't you think? Um, maybe we should just go over and get an ice cream for lunch. No, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you some of my other ones here. I also have sauerkraut sandwiches. Yeah, Mom, let's definitely go for the ice cream. What are we going to do today? There's so many fun things we could do. You want to play with Mr. Kittikinums? <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I love this stuffed animal so much. I've had it since I was a little tiny girl. Oh, and even though I keep growing older and older, I mean, well, I'm not like 80 or anything, but <laughs> even though I keep growing up, I should say, I still love my stuffed animals. Molly, did you know that this math problem in her homework is super hard? Daisy, why are you in my room right now? Uh, because I was asking you about this math problem. No, Daisy, just no. But Molly, how am I ever going to be ready for high school? Um, because the teacher will teach you and then you'll leave junior high and you'll go to high school. I know, but I want to be extra prepared. Daisy, get out of my room! Fine, Molly, cease. Sorry about that interruption, Sparkles. Now we can play a game. Which one should we play? Ping pong. Ooh, Blacksborn. This looks fun. Do 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 do. Sparkles, you're a unicorn. Do 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 do. And I love you so much. Do do do. You're my best friend. Wow, Molly, you sing really loud, and it's kind of bad. Daisy, why are you back in my room and insulting how I sing? Rude. Because I'm your sister. It's my job. See, that singing was much better. Hmm, this painting looks a little weird, too. Hey, I painted that of sparkles. Stop it. Stop it. You're going to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it. I'm going to make it look not ugly. It's not ugly, Daisy. Take it back. Nope, not taking it back. Fine, Daisy. Whatever. I'll just do the painting again. Leave me alone. I'm trying to hang out with my unicorn, duh. Whee! Sparkles, I hope you like to swim. <laughs> Look at, she's got a smile on her face. She loves it. Oh my gosh, she's diving underwater. Oh, now she's floating on her back. Ooh, the pool. I'd love to go in the pool. Ah, my name is Daisy, just like the flower. Is my sister for real right now? All she's doing today is driving me absolutely insane. Oh, do you have a sister or a brother that drives you insane? O-M-G. I know what I'm going to do, though. This will definitely get rid of her. I'm just going to ignore her. I'm going to ignore her for like 24 hours. She'll get so upset that I'm ignoring her. She'll finally leave me alone. What are you saying, Molly? Can I know? Molly! Molly! Someone talking to me? I don't I don't really hear anything. Sounds like a ghost. Molly, I'm not a ghost, I'm your sister. Ah, nope, didn't hear anything. Molly, you're being so weird right now. What are you doing? Come on, Sparkles! Do 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 Ooh, this looks like the perfect spot just to relax and watch the stars. 
I was standing on the table, though. <laughs> I just sit down, because I was literally standing on the table. What has gotten into my sister? Hey, Molly, I'm over here. Okay, I'm totally ignoring her. Well, it's, this this is going to drive her crazy. Molly! Okay, wanna play hide and seek, Molly? Come on, we can play hide and seek! Uh, no, still gonna ignore her. I was gonna respond, but no, I'm not gonna. Molly, obviously you could heal me! You're not 80 years old and deaf! Why aren't you saying anything? Huh, sounds like someone's talking, but I don't see anybody. Molly, I am not a ghost! Stop pretending I'm not healed! Molly, say something! Oh my gosh, my sister is just ignoring me. <gasps> is she doing the ignore me for 24 hours challenge? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Ooh, I'm starving. I could have a snack right now. What should I make? Cookies! That sounds delicious. There's really never a bad time to eat a cookie. Seriously. There's, I, can, I like, I can't even think of one single time ever that it's bad to eat a cookie you're hungry and when you get home from school cookie sounds good you wake up you don't have your favorite cereal eat a cookie uh you get a good grade in school eat a cookie oh man i failed that test eat a cookie you wake up in the middle of the night and you stumble out into the kitchen and you're starving eat a cookie see there's never a time when you don't eat a cookie do 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 Oh, my sister's in my room right now, but I'm trying to ignore her because if I say anything, then she wins and she will not win. Okay, time to bake these delicious cookies, which she can't have any of. Sparkles, you want a chocolate chip cookie? Of course you do. All unicorns love chocolate chip cookies and eating homework because they're naughty like that. Ooh, is somebody making cookies that smell delicious? I think I'll eat them all. Molly, I said I was going to eat all your cookies. <laughs> Whatever, Molly, I know you're going to be mad if I eat all your cookies. And you can't ignore me, Ted. <laughs> oh, are the cookies done yet? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe she's ignoring me. This is terrible. <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. Now she'll know and realize just how annoying she is. Come on, Sparkles. She's gone. You can totally eat some cookies. Mmm, these look delicious. Mmm. Ooh, cookies! Uh, how am I gonna ignore her? She just took my cookies! I want to scream right now, but I can't because then she'll know. Did you say something, Molly? Ooh, I can't wait to read till diary. Ah! What, Molly? Did you just scream a little bit? Mm. 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 Just go in the living room. Not gonna say anything. Turn on brightly colored unicorn. I at least got to eat one cookie. I'm not giving in. I am ignoring my sister for 24 hours. It's gonna be difficult, though. She's really annoying, and I just wanna tell her stop being annoying! The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. <laughs> beep beep, Molly! <laughs> oh my gosh, Daisy! You drove your scooter into the house? <laughs> you stop ignoring me, do da, do da. Oh my gosh, Daisy! I don't know how anybody can stand living with you as a sister. Literally, I cannot stand living with you as a sister. But at least there's one cookie left that she didn't get, so... <laughs> Even though I didn't win at ignoring her, still get to eat this cookie. Don't eat the last cookie, Molly! Oh yeah, totally gonna! Hey, get that scooter out of my room! No way, Jose! Do, 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 do! O-M-G! My sister is the most annoying human in the entire world. And by the way, do your stinky laundry, Molly. It smells awful. Fine, I'll do my laundry. But only because Mom said if I did my laundry all week, she'd take me to Chuck E. Cheese. Molly, Chuck E. Cheese is for babies. Yeah, but it's also for awesome people like me. 
I love Chuck E. Cheese. They have the best pizza in the world. And they have that little, all those little, like, games you can play, like, skee ball and stuff. Ooh, yeah, that is fun. Even if you're a grown-up, that's fun. Yeah, I have to admit. This is super fun. Huh. See, Molly, you're talking to me again. Don't you feel happy? No, I don't feel happy about it at all. Then how come up here it says you're happy? You can't lie if you're happy in Roblox. Oh, man, she knows it. Guess I'm not as annoying as you say I am. Actually, Molly, I think if I just disappeared one day and you didn't have a sister, you would be so sad. No, not true. Yes, it is, Molly. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Oh, brother, don't tell me you're ignoring me again. Molly, stop it! Oh, my goodness. Okay, Molly, I, I'm just gonna leave my scooter in your room forever. Molly, gonna leave it in here forever. Somebody talking? I didn't hear anything, Sparkles, did you? Molly, seriously, I already won. Fine, you won, but I'm just saying, get that scooter out of my room and stop annoying me. I'm locking the door. You can't lock it, Molly. There's no locks on the doors here. Oh, my gosh. Sparkles, what are we going to do? Can we go live in Unicorn Land with all the other unicorns without Daisy? No, Molly, I'd go to Unicorn Land, too. Oh. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking this horse to school. What? Wh why are you taking a horse to school? Because, Molly, it's crazy outfit day, and the horse is a part of my accessories. Daisy, you cannot take a horse to school. The teacher's going to give you detention. Wait, what? She will? Yeah, of course she will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put the horse at a desk and make it do your homework? That's not a bad idea, Molly. Daisy, lose the horse! Okay, fine, grumpy. Well, maybe I'm a little grumpy because... It's still dark outside, and you woke me up for school. Seriously, the bus doesn't come this early. Well, um, I just want you to get out of bed on time because you've been late for so many times that you're literally going to have detention for the rest of your life, Molly. Do you want that? Uh, well, uh... Molly! No, I don't want detention for the rest of my life. Hey, Daisy, what do you think of my crazy outfit? Well, it's certainly crazy. What do you think of my cowgirl outfit? I think I look crazy and cute. Yeah, you always seem to be fashionable, even when it's crazy outfit day. Finally, the sun's coming up. Yeah, well, I may have gotten us out of bed just a little bit early today. You think? Oh, look who these losers are. We're not losers, Sarah. Why are you always saying we're losers? Look at how you're dressed. You have to be losers. Uh, newsflash! Today is crazy outfit day at school, so maybe you're the loser because you're not wearing a crazy outfit. Whatever. Look, I do that baby stuff anyway. Like, I don't dress up, like, for all that nonsense. It's not nonsense. The whole school does it for Spirit Week, and Molly and I just happen to be in the Spirit what are you, like some sort of, like, cowgirl or something? Where's your horse even? I was gonna bring a horse, but Molly said... Look, I don't even care what you have to say. Ugh, this is boring. W Daisy, wait! What, Molly? What is it? You forgot to look both ways. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. It was so dangerous. What are you talking about, looking both ways? What are you, babies? Uh, no, we're safe. S Sarah, you have to look both ways before you cross a road. Oh, she'll never learn. You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. Wow, this test is really hard. Molly, remember, there's no talking and no cheating during the test. You don't want detention, do you? No, I wasn't cheating. I was just saying, this test is so hard, Mrs. Smith. Well, it does challenge you, I agree. I think it's pretty easy. Of course you do, Daisy. Of course you do. Whatever, this test is so hard. Where's my notes? <gasps> you can't use a notes, Sarah. That's called cheating. Whatever, it's not really cheating if I took the notes. Actually, yes, it is. Daisy, is there a problem? Please stop talking or you're going to fail your test. <gasps> oh, sorry, Mrs. Smith. I can't believe she's cheating. That's so wrong. No, it's not. You're just such a baby.
My sister's not a baby! Molly, no talking. Sorry, it's just Sarah! Molly, no talking. Okay, fine. Ooh, time for lunch, my favorite. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Oh, hey, Molly. I'm just so excited because today I got Doritos in my lunch. Wow, your mom's super cool. Uh, my mom always, mom always packs me just an apple or whatever. Well, sit down, Molly. You could share some of my Doritos if you want. Oh, wow, really? That's super nice of you. Yeah, why don't you share with me, as in give me the entire bag? What? Uh, no, sorry, Sarah. I, I didn't say I would share with you. I only have enough to share with Molly today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want you to share. I want you to give me the entire bag of Doritos. She doesn't want to, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, you took her Doritos! Sarah, give those back. You want them after I've chewed on them? Ew, you're gross. Why are you so mean to me, Sarah? You're always bullying me. Brookie! Brookie, wait! It'll be Brookie, come back! Oh my gosh. Oh, Sarah is so rude. All right, I gotta go do some damage control. Brookie, are you okay? No, I wanted those Doritos. They were mine, and I'm really hungry. Well, I'll share my apple with you. You could have half of it. Thanks, Molly. It's really nice of you. But she's always bullying me, and I don't know what to do about it. We could tell the teacher. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but it doesn't get my Doritos back. You know, Sarah just doesn't play by the rules. <sighs> she's so rude. But one day, it's going to catch up with her, Brookie. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Whoa, Brookie, you had a growth spurt. No wonder you're so hungry. I know, right? I can't get enough food lately. You're probably going to be like seven foot tall. You could be a basketball player. I love sports. That would be amazing. Come on, let's go eat my apple. Okay, Molly. Hey, where you guys been? Lunch is almost over. Well, it's a long story. Here you go, Brookie. Here's half. Thanks, Molly. But let's just say the story starts and ends with Sarah. Oh, no. What did she do now? Walk out in front of traffic, cheat on her test? No! She bullied Brookie and took her Doritos. Then Brookie cried in the bathroom. I had to give her a pep talk. And now I'm sharing my apple with her. Thank goodness I have friends like you guys. Or else I'd be hungry. Yeah, Sarah's just a bully. Someday she's going to learn her lesson. I agree, Molly. Someday she definitely will. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. What is it, Molly? While we're waiting for the school bus, why don't we play on the playground for a while? Ooh, I love that idea. Maybe it'll turn your frown upside down. It definitely did, Molly. You guys are my best friends. And we're your best friends, Brookie. Now we just have to wait for the school day to be over. Boring! Molly, maybe if you paid attention once in a while, you'd actually like the subject. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Wee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad we decided to come to the playground after school. Me too, Molly. This is so cool. Yeah, I love swinging on the swings. I haven't done this since, like, kindergarten. I know what you mean. Whoa! 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 I'm going super fast. Whoa! Molly, be careful. You're going to fall off of there. I'm going to jump. Whoa! <laughs> I actually jumped backwards. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was insane, Molly. Maybe we should go down the slide next and go into the pool. Ow, you ran into me, Brookie. Stop running into me. Stop running into me. Um, Molly, you're standing in front of the swing. Maybe you shouldn't do that if you don't want someone to, um, like, run into you. Ah, uh, yeah, that that's a good point. Okay, who's going down the slide first? You are, Molly, since it was your idea. No one's going down the slide because I own it. I'm going to put my name on it, like, right now. What? You don't own the playground slide, Sarah. Yeah, I do. No one's allowed to come up here. I'm coming up there. Get out of here, seriously. Sarah, get out of the way. I want to go down the slide. No, no. And let me think about it for just a second. No. Seriously, you made me wait all that time just to say no? Let me think about it again. No. Whatever, Sarah. You're so rude. Ugh, she drives me insane. I know, tell me about it. Oh man, I forgot my backpack at school. I'll be right back. Hurry up, you're going to miss the bus. Whoa, here comes the bus. Come on, we don't want to miss it. Sarah, what are you doing? You have to look both ways. Whatever, I don't look both ways. 
Sarah? Sarah? Oh my god, somebody call 911! Sarah got hit by the school bus! Sarah! Are, are you okay? Say something! It definitely hit her head! Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance! We need an ambulance! Oh my god, this isn't good. I called 911. The ambulance is on the way. Sarah! Just hold on! Hold on! Well, Sarah, it looks like you have a concussion. And also, your leg looks sprained. You're very lucky. I mean, having a school bus hit you, it, it could have killed you. Whatever. When can I get out of here? Uh, you definitely have to stay for the next two days for observation. We want to make sure that the concussion clears up before we send you on home. Oh, this is so annoying. Just try to relax, Sarah. I'll have the cafeteria bring you in some dinner. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay? Who wants to know? It's me, Molly. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I just didn't want to be bothered to look at you. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm in the hospital. Sarah! Oh my gosh, I, I, I thought maybe the bus had killed you! Well, obviously not. I'm still here talking. Yeah, so, so what did the doctor say? She said I have a concussion and I have a sprained leg, so I have to stay here for two days. Whoa, Sarah, you got lucky. You know when I said you should look both ways and you said you don't follow the rules and that's for babies? Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, I think you should start following the rules. What? Why? Because a school bus hit you! That's why! Why else? Ugh, I'm so irritated right now that I can't go and do what I want. Um, you would be able to do what you want if you would follow the rules. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have looked both ways because it did really hurt when that school bus hit me. Yeah, not to mention you scared the school bus driver half to death! She thought you were a raccoon. What? I don't even look like a raccoon! Why would you say that? Um, maybe you had some bags under your eyes or something. I do not look like a trash panda. Take that back right now. Sorry, Sarah, I can't. And you can't get out of the bed, so see you later. Molly, you come back here right now. I can't believe you called me a raccoon. Get back here. <laughs> Sarah finally learned her lesson. You should play by the rules, especially look both ways, because, like, you know, a school bus might hit you or something. This has been a crazy day. Kids, I'm Riley. Your parents went away on vacation for a few days, so I'll be taking care of you. Whoa, she seems like the nicest babysitter ever, Molly. Um, you guys need to behave, though, but we'll have lots of fun. Behave? Did she just say we have to behave? I don't like her already. Molly, give her a chance. Guys, I thought it would be so fun to set up a scavenger hunt so you guys can find 10 teddy bears that are hidden throughout the house. Good luck. Um, first place I'm going is into the kitchen because I'm starving. What's in the refrigerator? Oh, I found a teddy bear. Hey, wait, that's my teddy bear. Ooh, cookies. Mmm, those are super good. Mmm, those are delicious. All right, let's see if there's any more teddy bears. I found a teddy bear. Of course I did. Of course you did. Blah, blah, blah. Molly, don't be rude. You're just grumpy because you didn't get to eat a cookie. Um, yeah, she's probably right about that. Maybe there's a teddy bear in the fish tank. <laughs> Everyone found all the teddy bears. Good job. Ooh, I like the fish tank. Blub, 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 blub. Hi, fishies. Hi. Yay, this house seems so fun. Yeah, I can't wait to play here. Wow, look at this. This is a really cool room. We can play soon, guys, but let's eat first. All right, she's starting to, like, be a really cool babysitter because she said she's going to feed us. What do I want to eat? Um, hello? Pizza! Look, everyone's choosing pizza. No one's choosing burgers. <laughs> you can't ask a bunch of kids if they want pizza or burgers. They're always going to pick pizza. Mm. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. Hurry up with the poll! We all pick pizza! I'm thinking about it, Boogoo, but... Don't you dare, Daisy! Okay, guys, looks like pizza won the vote! Yum, yum! Let's head into the kitchen and get some to eat. Eat up. Mmm, pizza. Mmm, it's going to be so good. Mmm, sure is. Okay, everybody, head into the playroom so we can get started. Get started with what? I mean, like, 
you babysitting us? You already started at that. Mm. Molly, one piece of pizza, you pig. No way. Mm, this is delicious. I'm having two or three. So this game is called The Floor is Lava. Don't touch the ground and let's see who can win. I'm already winning at life right now. So am I. <laughs> ready, guys? We were born ready. Hello? We're Roblox people. We want to play The Floor is Lava. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, she tricked us, Molly. Yeah, she sort of did. Uh, the floor is lava, but it's not lava. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm sort of stuck down here. Wait, what? Daisy? Yeah, um, my my legs wouldn't move. I was stuck in my quick stand. Oh my gosh, poor Daisy. She's already out. I'm back, though, I'm back. All right, um, guys, this is sort of like musical chairs. Like, things keep, the Rubik's Cubes keep disappearing, and, um, you have to be on one, or you lose. OMG. Oh, the times get, like, way shorter. Holy guacamole. Okay, which one's gonna still be there? Ah, this one. OMG. We're doing really good. Uh-oh, not you so much. Oh, no, he made it. Good job. We all made it? Seriously? Oh, no, 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 no. There's still one left. This is going to go on until everybody dies. It might, Miley, it might. The guy's getting out his bat. Hey, don't hit us on the head. That's cheating. Great job, guys. I was one of the winners. Do I get a cupcake? That was awesome. Miley, I don't think you get a cupcake. I want a cupcake. Can we play again? No, she doesn't even give you cupcakes. You don't want, you don't want to play again. Maybe tomorrow, guys. It's getting late, okay? Okay, Riley. But if you sleep now, we can play this game again tomorrow. And I'll even bake some cupcakes. Whoa, Riley, you're amazing. Could you put sprinkles on them too? I'll think about it, Molly. <laughs> awesome. Let's go, guys. Time to go to bed. I want top bunk, but I can't get up there. I'm too short. Ugh, ugh. All right, Um. wait. Maybe there's like a way I can get up there, like... All right, Daisy, I guess we're bunking together. We can't bunk together, Molly. This is my bed. No, it's not. It's my bed. Uh, actually, I'm claiming this bed. No, you're not. We were here first. Good night, everyone. No fighting. Everyone just try to be nice, okay? Okay. Guys, did, did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What was that? Oh, no. Not again. What do you mean, not again? You've played this game before? I just know in this part of the game, something really scary happens. Maybe it was just Riley, right? Uh, no. It's a monster! Looks like you're coming with me, kids. Oh my gosh, it's a monster! Are you serious right now? Guys, run! Um, I think we have a bat, right? Can't we use that? Molly, no, this monster can't be hit by a bat. Uh, okay, this, this is really bad. Uh, can, we, can we leave the room? Hello, Riley, we got a monster in here. Uh-oh. Okay, right now he's just standing there. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, because I want to hit you with this bat now. Evil monster demon guy. Hiya! Uh-oh, now he's after me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Molly, yeah, don't make him mad, because then he just tries to chase you. Na -na 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 -na. You're a dumb monster. Molly, don't tease him. Oh my gosh. He's definitely chasing you now. Oh my goodness, Molly. Be careful. I'm trying to be careful. Like, ah, he's chasing me. Ah! Molly, what are you doing? I'm trying not to die. Oh my god, he's right behind me. Ah, wait, I died? Okay, how much money do you want? How much money? 35 Robux. Okay, I was revived though. Oh, thank goodness. What's with all that noise? I told you, kids, go to bed. But, 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 but nothing. Riley, thank goodness you're here. We saw a monster. Yeah, we did. Totally a monster. Yep, yep. And also, yep. Seriously? That's your excuse? Excuse? That's not an excuse. No, really. It tried to kill us. Uh, you don't know me very well, so you just started babysitting me, but I'm not a liar. Oh, please. Get back to bed now, or else we won't play tomorrow. This isn't a game, Riley. It, it's real life. What was that about? She didn't even believe us. 
Ha! <laughs> Babysitters never do. Oh no, let's just go to bed, guys. Or else Riley won't let us play. Yeah, that's true. Come on, Daisy. Just stay up here with me so we can stick together. <sighs> oh, goodness, it's morning. Thank goodness no monster came back. Come on downstairs, kids. It's time for breakfast. She is huge, and we are so tiny. That's because we're the tiniest little babies. Wah, wah, I pooped my diaper. Seriously, stop, Molly. What would you like to eat? Waffles or pancakes? Ooh, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I'm picking pancakes. I'm going to pick waffles. I love waffles. You're just picking that because it's different than me, Daisy. No, it's not. It's because I really like waffles. And also because it's different than you. Too bad. So sad. Pancakes won. Mmm. Yum, yum. These are delicious. Oh, finally, it's game time. What game this time, Riley? Let's play hide and seek. Yeah, I swear I'm not eating all these pancakes. Head into the playroom so we can start. Oh, I'm so stuffed from pancakes. I'm not going to be able to run. Huh. Where are we going to be able to hide? I'll seek first and give you guys some time to hide. Where? Ready? No, I don't see anywhere to hide. Go! Where should we hide, guys? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think we should hide upstairs. Good idea, Molly. Um, maybe she'll run out of time before she finds us. Molly, hide up here on the fish tank. Oh, that's a good idea, Daisy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no one's gonna find me. No one's gonna find me. Okay, I'm being very quiet, because I don't want her to find me. Hey, Molly, I want to hide up here, too. Whoa, look! I found a key on the ground! A key on the ground? Maybe it goes to, like, a secret, like, door or something. Wait, this key must open the basement door. Why are you thinking about the basement? It's creepy down there! Well, I'm just saying, it's the only one that's locked. We should go try it. See what's down there. Uh, Tom, I think this might be a... Horrible idea! We're gonna unlock it. That's our current objective. Oh no. Alright, who's got the key? I do! Alright. Here we go. Let's see what's in the basement. We should hide down there. Then Riley will never find us. Or maybe our parents. Looks creepy down there. Look, Molly, there's a giant vault! Whoa, this place is so creepy. Uh, I think it's actually kind of cool. I mean, maybe there's lots of cupcakes back there. Molly, wouldn't you rather have money than you could buy all the cupcakes? No, I just want cupcakes. Ah, cupcakes. Holy cow, this place is really foggy. It looks like some sort of secret lair. O-M-G! It's the monster! And then he's in some sort of, like, I don't know, chamber or something. Let's get a closer look. Um, someone has an evil lair down here. And it's gotta be Riley! Is, is that the monster's costume? Wait, it's a costume? It's not the actual monster? Oh, so someone's dressing up as the monster. Bum, bum. Guys, I think we're in this monster secret lair. We need to tell Riley. So wait, is this the monster or the monster's costume? I'm so confused. What the? What's happening? Ah! Where, where are we? I have no clue. We fell through a trap door. Yeah, and so did these other unfortunate souls. Ugh. Oh my gosh, there's skeletons everywhere. We're all gonna die! Yeah. We probably are. We have to figure out a way to escape this place. Oh my gosh, this just keeps getting worse and worse. Look, there's a tunnel this way. I'm never going to the babysitter's house ever again. But look at the signs. It means there's danger that way. Dangerous manger. I don't see how there's any other choice. We gotta go. Molly's right. We have no choice but to keep going. Loot the skeletons for weapons so we can protect ourselves. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that. Let's go back and do that. <laughs> 
Oh, Mr. Skeleton, I need to steal your bones. Just kidding. I'm just looking for, like, weapons or something, but I don't see any. No, come on, warriors. I didn't find a weapon! All right, I guess I'm just using this bat. Let's fight our way out of here. Speak for yourself. I'd rather eat my way out of here. Could this whole place be made of cupcakes? Molly, no! We've got to fight them. Come on! Guys, don't give up on me now. What? The skeletons came to life? Like guacamole. Where'd you find that sword, Daisy? It's a unicorn sword. It's very special. Remember the monster was chasing us in the bedroom? You were all fearless then. Hey, uh, Tom, I don't need your pep talk. What I need is a cupcake! You need to be fearless again. Enough, enough, enough. Okay, just let me at the skeletons. Let's get this over so I can go bake some cupcakes. What do you say, warriors? I say talking less, fighting more! I'll fight by your side, Tom! <laughs> wow, she's into the whole pep talks, I guess. Let's show them who we are! Well, I'm Molly, and I'm lazy, and a little chubby, and I wish I could get away from these skeletons and get out of here! Oh my gosh, we did it already? That was, um... That was weird! That happened way too fast! I knew you guys could do it! I, I... I just, like, clobbered that skeleton one little time, and he was done. Alright, I'm, I'm, like, breaking this down, but it's not working. Ah, <sighs> yes, we're stuck here forever. Molly, no, just keep looking at it. Break the planks. We're all trying to break the planks, and it doesn't work. Look it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Ow, that one fell on my head. Ah! Oh, no, Molly. It's an Abby. It looks like the way, only way out is just over there. Well, we have to go through those moving stones first. And that lava. Bam, bam, bam! The lava's rising, too. We have to be quick! Oh my gosh, Tom. How do you get yourself into these messes anyway? Oh my gosh, it's timed? Oh boy. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, MG, please, please, please. Don't let me die, not today. Molly, you can do this. Keep going. Oh, gosh, I almost died right there. Oh, that was scary. This one doesn't move. And Trixie. Molly, you did it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I worked very hard. All right, I'm going to climb up this ladder and get out of here. Oh, my head is stuck. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't think we're meant to go to this part yet. Let's not do that because then we're going to be stuck. Forever. <laughs> Guys, okay, let's escape up this ladder. Duh, Tom, we know that. Whoa, where are we now? It looks like a lab facility. Wait, who's that up there? Oh, who would have known? It's Riley. Kids? Is that you? Yeah, evil Riley. I was looking everywhere for you guys. Whoa, maybe she's not actually... The evil one, Molly. Riley, we went through this giant door in the basement and found this scary lair. Wait, how did you get down here, Riley? Yeah, good question. So you guys saw everything, huh? Yeah, we did. And, 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 yeah, what do you mean by that? That was my secret lair, and you guys weren't supposed to see that. I knew it! Guilty! Welp. No, I need to get rid of you guys. I can't have you speaking to anybody about this. Molly? What's that smell? I don't know, Tom. What should we do now? You guys need to get through the air vent. It's your only hope. What about you, Tom? Um, just just do it, guys. Just go fast. Okay, well, good luck, Tom. Yeah, good luck. You guys have to go on. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very tired. Well, have a nice snack. Molly, come on. Okay, we're not leaving without you, Tom. You have to fight, remember? You told us we had to be warriors in your annoying little pep talk. <coughs> Promise me one thing. Just one thing. That you'll always keep fighting. For cupcakes? Yeah, I can promise you that easy. <coughs> and don't let... Don't let Riley... <coughs> Get away with this. Uh, well, we'll try not to, but right now we just want to escape. Perfect. Tom? Perfect. Tom! Oh, wait, he's still standing there. Oh, no, no. He's dead. 
He's definitely dead. Come on, Molly. We can't save him. We have to get through the vent. Oh, man. I feel kind of bad. Well, we don't want to be goners like him. Can't believe we lost Tom. It's really, really sad. Now, I don't know what to do. He was our leader, our captain. Now he's not here with us, and then we're... Wait, what's this? Self-destruct ready? Start up engaged? Come on, Daisy, think! We need to get out of here and stop Riley! All right, maybe uh, if we click a few of these doors or whatever, a door, I mean, buttons, a door will open. Press buttons. Oh, no! I clicked the wrong button! Self-destruct initiated. Quick, try the next one to it! Come on, Molly! We have to get out of here! Self-destruct initiated. I know, we heard you the first time. Self-destruct initiated. Uh-oh, we got trouble. Where do you think you're going? Um, we're leaving. This place is going to blow up. You have to let us go. I'm sorry, kids. I can't let you walk out of here alive. Um, uh, that's gonna be a problem because we're not walking out of here dead. Then we'd be zombies. You pay for what you did to Tom, Riley. Fine. You made me do this. Uh, do what? Uh oh. We've got to defeat her, Daisy. Don't worry. I have the unicorn sword. This is gonna be a piece of cake. She's shooting lava at us. Uh oh. I think we need to get on one of those. Uh oh. Ew, Molly! It's it's lava slime! That's the worst kind of lava there is. Alright, she's she's I, we can get her now! Yeah, exactly. Her force field is down. That's what you meant, right, Riley? Yeah, that's totally what I meant. Ow! Stop hitting me, you little brats! <laughs> brats my name and don't wear it out. Brats my name and don't wear it out. Alright, um, Daisy, get ready. Her force field's gonna go down any second. Goodbye, Riley. Oh, you're hitting me in the knee. That hurts. You little rats. Riley, watch out for the falling lava. I'm trying, but it's everywhere. Watch out, Daisy. Here comes the lava slime. Oh, Daisy, you only have half health. Your health is really bad, Molly. Well, I know, but... What are we going to do? We have to defeat her. Okay. Um, we have her down to like a quarter life right now. Okay, back up, Daisy. You don't want to get hit by the lava. Oh my gosh, she just hit me so bad. Just don't get hit by the lava slime. I think you'll be okay. This time, we should take her down. Daisy, let's do this. Yeah. Go Team Star Squad. Riley, we've had enough of you. Time to go to jail. Molly, I don't think we're going to defeat her on this round. No, you're right. Here comes more lava. Ah, Daisy. Ah, it burns. Maybe the next round, Molly. We're getting her, though. We're getting her. I hope I survive that long. Her and I have, like, similar health right now. Yep, this is the one, Molly. You're going down. Ah! How could you have defeated me? All right, guys. You defeated me. Oh, wow, you gave up pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I did this to you. Well, and to Tom. Well, that's not a good apology. Actually, Molly, that's a pretty good apology. But we trusted you, and you tried to kill us. Now you have to go to prison or something. I think it's well-deserved, actually, to leave you here. Wow, harsh, Daisy. Wow, it's going to blow up. I know, guys, I'm, and I'm sorry, but please don't leave me here to die. I don't deserve this. Actually, you might deserve it, but we're going to save you because... Daisy, you picked a lever? No, I picked a saver. Wait, someone picked... Who picked to leave her? There's only two of us. That is really, really weird. There's only two of us in here. Someone picked to leave her. Oh my gosh. Maybe it was Tom. All right. I guess we can help you out of here. Then we're turning you over to the police. Fools! Did you really think I'd let you walk out of here alive? I'm taking you all down with me. Ha 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 ha! No! Molly! Ah! Daisy! Come on, Molly!
Daddy, we're gonna be late. What are you waiting for? I don't want to go to school today. Well, what's new? But this is preschool. It's not like you're gonna get detention or homework. No, I know. I just, I don't want to go. If we're late, though, you might get a timeout. I don't want to go, okay? Sometimes I just, I want to stay home, okay? Molly, that's ridiculous. You know we have to go here so that Mom can work and we can learn lots of good things. Just, I don't feel very good today. Don't try to fake being sick. Everybody know it's not true. Now come on, before we're late, I want to see all of our friends. Fine, but I'm telling you, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, why can't I get in? Hello? Let us in! Molly, come on, let's just go in through the baby entrance. I'm not a baby anymore. Ugh, my stomach really hurts. Yeah, yeah, Molly, you're faking it. Everybody knows it. I I'm not faking it. I, I, I really don't feel good. Well, why don't you go to the bathroom and try to go poo-poo? That might make you feel better. I don't have to go poo-poo. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have to believe me. No one asked you to anyway. Oh, no. My stomach is really starting to hurt. Oh, man. I think I do actually have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope I make it in time. Oh, that's so embarrassing to have an accident. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to make it to the potty. Too late. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I went poo-poo in my pants. Oh. That's so embarrassing. Well, good morning, Molly. Ew, what's that smell? Uh-oh, did you have an accident? I didn't mean to, I promise, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to. It's okay, Molly, it's okay. We'll just, we'll just change your pull up and everything will be fine, I promise. Oh, how embarrassing. It's all right, trust me. Everybody has accidents when they're toddlers. I don't really feel good today. My stomach is really hurting. Oh, that's probably just because you're hungry. It is snack time. Come on, we'll get something to eat. No, oh, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to eat. It sounds really gross. No, you're probably just hungry. Did you know that if you get too hungry, your tummy can actually hurt? Now play with your toy and be good. Now, come on, let's eat up. I'm telling you, I don't feel so good. I don't want to eat that baby food. Ah, oh, la, la, da, da, da. Da 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 Molly says she doesn't feel good, but she's a liar. I'm not lying. Oh. Ew! Oh, yuck! You threw up on me! Oh, yuck! They don't pay me enough for this job to have babies throw up on me! Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. It's just, ew, throw up makes me really grossed out. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? I'm not sure. I don't feel so... <clears throat> Ew, now she threw up on me! Ew, she really is sick! Oh my, it looks like we're going to need to give you a bath, Molly. You're covered in throw up. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I just want my mommy. <laughs> it's okay, we're going to take you... Take very good care of you here, Molly, until your mom can come pick you up. Well, good luck. Our mom's at a business meeting today. She probably won't be able to pick us up for hours. Don't say that, Daisy. I want my mom. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to throw up again? Don't throw up in the tub. Or on me. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. I feel a little better, though, after I threw up so many times. I think you better take a nap, Molly. You're definitely sick with something. Maybe food poisoning or the stomach bug? Can I have something to drink? I feel so thirsty after throwing up so much. Of course you can, sweetie, but I think we should just give you some water and not milk, because milk can make your stomach upset when it already is hurting. I just want my mommy! <laughs> Molly, I promise I'm going to take good care of you. Okay. I guess I believe you. <laughs> it is not feel good. I know, honey. It's going to be okay. La da da, la da da, la da da da, da da da. 
It's going to be okay, Molly. I think when you take a nap, you'll feel better when you wake up. I sure hope so. I don't want to throw up anymore. Mm, it seems like you may have gotten it out of your system, sweetie. Now take a nice night-night and everything will be okay, I promise. Okay, just, just don't swing me around too much because I think I might throw up again. Daisy, what's wrong? I don't feel so good. My stomach hurts. Oh, don't fake it, Daisy. Marley, I'm not faking it. When have I ever ugh, faked anything? You're still faking it. I don't believe that was a real throw up. Marley, I just ugh, threw up twice. What are you talking about? I can't fake that. You probably gave me a stomach bug. What? No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, what's... Ew, gross, another baby threw up. Oh no, it's the dreaded stomach bug. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all have it. I just know it. Every single parent, caregiver, and child at Twilight Daycare will get this. I feel so good. Ugh. Don't worry, Daisy. It only lasts a couple of hours, then it goes away. I'm feeling lots better. I can't believe you gave me a stomach bug. Oh, this is the worst. This is seriously the worst. Uh, hopefully nobody else is throwing up. Is everybody okay? No one's answering. Okay, um, I want to slime somebody right now and tell them that they that I have the stomach bug. Um, uh, let's see, who should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're about, oh, I can slime everybody. How much does that cost? 50 Robux, worth it. <laughs> okay, when's everybody gonna get slimed? When you all get, wait, how did you pick me up? I don't want you to pick me up. Stop picking me up. Okay, I paid for everybody to get slimed. And, um, nobody got slimed. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, um, oh, whoa. 400 Robux? No, no, no. I'm uh, nothing. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Uh, yeah, no, not, not at all. Molly, are you back to your old antics of being a prankster? Me? No, not at all. Molly, you just dumped slime on my head. Molly! Oh my gosh, you need to go to timeout. You can't give me timeout today. What? Why not? Because I was so sick with the stomach bug. Well, now you seem just fine. So now it's time for timeout. What? Don't you dare take me to baby jail. Don't you dare. Um, baby jail is exactly where you belong. Let me out. This is rude. This can't be happening. Let me out of jail. I don't like this. I want to go home. I want my mommy. I'm warning you, Taylor. You're not going to like what happens next. I want to get out of here. Let me out of time out. This isn't fair. And how did that work out for you, Molly? You're still not going to let me out? This is rude. God, I want to get out of here. Let me out. Ah! Molly, you can have more temper tantrums if you like, but then you're going to be in timeout even longer. You're so rude! Why is this happening to me, Ma? I'm not a bad kid, it's just because I pranked you and it was kind of funny. Molly, you're going to stay there so you can calm down. I'm never going to calm down! Do I look calm to you? Ma? This is making me so mad! <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I'm done having a temper tantrum now. <sighs> Okay, Molly, if you think you're done being a prankster and having your temper tantrums, you can come out and rejoin society. Okay, fine. I'll be good. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is going to be awesome. Purchased. <laughs> Where'd she go? I want to see this. Who just slimed me? Molly, was that you? Mo Molly, come back here. Not a chance, lady. I'm out of here. <laughs> Caught you. Back to timeout for you. No, I want to escape, please. Oh, okay, wait. I, I can't escape. It costs me 50 Robux and I'm poor. Let me, let me out of here. No. Okay, I can break the toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I just found out how you escape. Oh my 
gosh, guys! I just found an underground maze. What? Underneath Twilight Daycare. Are you kidding me right now? Where's this go? This is insane. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I just escaped Twilight Daycare on Baby Jail. And guys, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day at the beach chilling without any rolls. This is amazing. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, after I got done having a stomach bug and stuff. Whoa! Look at that rubber ducky! Good thing I just learned how to swim. Rubber ducky, you're so cute! Ooh, and a unicorn? Yes, please! This sounds like my kind of day. <laughs> Uh, excuse me? Are you sleeping in class right now? Huh? What? Class? What? I'm so confused. I was just... I was just in my bed. Uh, that would probably explain why you're wearing pajamas to school. Haha, <laughs> you look ridiculous. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 where's all the other students? Other students? What are you talking about? This is summer school. You were the only one that had to come to summer school at Brookhaven High. What? Summer school? No! Now, the first question is, what is... I got it, I got it. It says 9 plus 10. I, I know what that is. No, well, that's an easy question. You need a hard question. And if you can't answer it, you're going to be here for 24 hours straight. What is 1 million times 237,000? Seriously? That's my question? I'll never figure that out. Well, I guess you're stuck in summer school forever. Wait a minute. Sarah, how did you become a teacher? You're, you're a student. Not anymore. I'm smarter than you and everyone else at Brookhaven High. So basically, I'm the teacher forever. What? This is such a nightmare. No! teacher. No, no! Molly, wake up! Huh? What? Oh, it was all just a really bad dream! I'm in my bed. Thank goodness. I'm never going to school again. I'm never going! Too bad, Molly. Today we have to go. What? No, it's summer! Look, it's sunny out and the grass is green. That means no school. There's no snow on the ground. Well, Molly, you'll be happy to know that we have to go to school today. What? No, I won't. I don't want to go to school. But... Today is our last day before summer vacation. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could deal with any more days of school. I can only do one more day. Wait a minute. Is Sarah our teacher? What? No, of course not. Is that what happened in your dream? Yeah, it was awful. Well, Molly, don't worry. It was just a nightmare. Now, come on. We better get ready. We don't want to get detention on our last day of school. Absolutely not. Not getting a detention on the last day of school. Not doing it. Not doing it. Got to brush my teeth really quickly because I do not want to be late. Wouldn't it be awful if you got detention on the last day of school? Pretty much the worst thing ever. Okay, what am I going to wear today? Let's see. Something really summery and fun. Ooh, this is pretty cute. Totally done. Molly, hurry up. It's time for breakfast. Oh my gosh, I gotta go have, go have breakfast really quick. It's the last day of school. Molly, what have I told you about not using the elevator and taking the shortcut? Uh, that I should do it over and over and over again? Molly, incorrect. You're supposed to use the elevator. You could get hurt jumping over the side. Blah, 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 blah. Molly, seriously, use the elevator from now on. But sometimes it gets stuck, and then I'm stuck in there, and then I'm late for school, and then I get detention on the last day of school, and then Sarah the bully becomes my teacher, and I have to stay in school forever. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Nothing. It was just a crazy dream I had. But it could come true. It could. Molly, hurry up. The, the school bus is outside. Coming. Got to take this waffle to go. I'm going to go to school. It's going to be the last day. I actually made it. <laughs> I actually made it on the bus on time. 
Jeezy, what are you doing? You can't drive the bus. Well, the school bus driver quit, so I have to. Apparently, I can't get on the bus while I'm eating a waffle. Whatever, that's terrible. You should be able to get on the school bus when you're eating your breakfast. All aboard! Last day of school! Where is everybody? I don't know, Molly, but all I know is we're going to be on time for a change. Yeah, like the first time ever I'm going to be on time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They need to fix the potholes in the road. Totally, Molly. Dizzy, don't red, run that red light. You'll get fired. But we're in a hurry, Molly. I don't care. You can't run red lights. Okay, students. Have a great last day. Daisy, it's just you and me. What are you talking about? Well, I still need to say it. It's a part of the job. Where is everybody? Good question, Daisy. Where is everybody? Maybe they skipped the last day of school. Some students do that, you know. But not me. I'm amazing. And I always come to school. Molly, I don't think I'm going to need your books today. Oh, now she tells me. Oh, look who it is. Loser 1 and Loser 2. Whatever, you can't get to me, Sarah, because today is the last day of school. Where's the teacher? Yeah, where's the teacher? All that's on there is S. Guys, what is going on here? Is there a zombie apocalypse I don't know about? Um, well, the only thing there is to do is for me to be the teacher. What? No! My nightmare's coming true! Daisy, this is exactly how my nightmare went. Was I in your nightmare? No. Well, then it's not exactly how it went. Okay, but almost. Except for I was wearing pajamas and sleeping in class. That's like every day, though. Molly, what else happened in your nightmare? She was our teacher. Okay, you fail because you're really loud. What? You didn't even have to ask me a question. Ask me a question. Okay, fine. But if you don't know it, then you're going to have to go to summer school. What? You're not the teacher. Do you see the teacher here? No. Then I'm the teacher now. What is 1 million times 246,000? Oh my god! That's the same question she asked me in my nightmare! Bali, I think something really crazy is going on here. Yeah, it's called You Both Are Going to Summer School. And it starts now. Daisy, I don't know what's going on, but I want to go home. I'm going to go to the faculty room, which you can't go to. This is just for teachers. And there's lots of snacks in there. And I'm going to get a snack. You two need to write a thousand times. I'm in summer school. I'm in summer school. I'm in summer school. Oh, my God, Daisy. How can this be happening? How can this be happening? Molly, just take out your notebook and do what she says. She's our teacher now and there's nothing we can do about it. How about I take out this instead? Oh my gosh, I need a Reese's. I need a Reese's. Molly, you're gonna get detention. I don't care. Mm, this is delicious. Molly, I don't wanna wait. I'm in summer school a million times. Neither do I, Daisy, neither do I. La 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 la. Oh my God, what are you guys doing here? Mrs. Smith? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. We came to the last day of school and, 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 and no one was here and, and Sarah became our teacher. Didn't you guys get the class memo? I sent it out on our school app. What? No, I, I didn't see anything. The last day of school has been canceled. We're supposed to get a flood today in Brookhaven. What? Yeah, I just came to get all of my stuff because my classroom's on the first floor and I didn't want all my books and papers and things to get ruined. The school's probably going to flood. You guys need to get home right away so you're safe. Daisy, did you hear that? The last day of school's been canceled! Molly, out of all the things, the flooding, the school getting ruined, you just heard the last day of school is canceled? Yeah! <laughs> this is amazing! Okay, we better go tell Sarah. Sarah! 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 Oh, she's in the principal's office. Sarah! What are you doing in here? You're not supposed to come to the principal's office. Actually, I've been in the principal's office more than I'd like to admit. Well, if you're in here, it means you're in trouble. So what do you want? A week's worth of detention? No! Can't you see? Outside, it's dark out, but it's the middle of the day. What? what? Are we having an eclipse? No. Apparently, school was canceled today. Why? Why? It's the last day of school. Why would they cancel it? Because a, a giant storm is coming through Brookhaven. Everything's going to flood, including this school. 
Whatever, you're just trying to get out of summer school. I'm still your teacher, and now the principal isn't here either, so I'm the principal. And I say you've got summer school and a week's worth of detention, starting now. Sarah, I'm going home. Um, you should get out of here too. It's flooding. Whatever, liar. Molly, come on. I'll drive the school bus home. Good idea, Daisy. Except for the school bus is slow, but it's all right. We'll be cool. Molly, sit in the front of the bus, you're a troublemaker. No, I'm not. <laughs> Just kidding. Come on, we've got to go before the flooding starts. What about Sarah? We warned her, Molly. What are we going to do if she doesn't want to leave? I don't know, but I hope she's okay. I really hope she's okay. Daisy, it looks like the storm is starting. Get inside before the flood comes. Good thing our house is built on stilts, Molly. Well, it's built above the garage, but as long as, as we're up here, we should be safe. Yeah, Molly, we should be. I hope Sarah's okay. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Daisy, Daisy, guess what? They're having free ticket day at the, at the water park. What? What are you talking about, Molly? I'm trying to read my science journal. This is very important. It means we don't have to have money to go to the water park today. We can just go for free. You get a ticket and it doesn't cost you anything. Doesn't that sound fun? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at me, I got a new donut inner tube. Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Cool, cool? I love it. Don't you want to take a bite out of it? Except for you can't, because if you did, all the air would come out. It wouldn't taste like a donut. It tastes like plastic, and you'd ruin my um new floaty, and it'd be sad. Why are you talking so fast and so much? Ah, I'm trying to read this. It's very important. Daisy, are you going to spend your entire summer just doing homework? It's the summer break! We don't... We don't have homework. I know, I'm doing this because I'm gonna be a famous scientist someday, and that requires a lot of hard work, even when other people aren't working. Daisy, there's literally two weeks of our summer vacation before we go back to school, and you were gonna miss out on all the fun, you stinky doo-doo! Don't call me names! Girls, I couldn't help but hear your little interaction here, and um, well, I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but I agree with Molly. Wait, what? You agree with me? Well, there has to be a first time for everything. I can't believe you agree with her, Mom. I thought you supported my goals. Well, I do, Daisy, but even famous scientists take vacations and breaks. It's important to rest your brain. My brain does not need a, need a rest. Well, you couldn't even talk right there, so I'm pretty sure it does. Be quiet, Molly! Just because you guys are distracting me, I am not going. It's okay, Mom. I wouldn't want to go with this grumpy goose anyway. She would spoil all the fun. Okay, girls, suit yourself. I've got some baking to do in the kitchen. Daisy, if you don't stop it, you're going to grow up to be old, boring, and a loser. I will not. I'll be famous. Yeah, famous at being boring and having no fun and, and, and being totally lonely. So nobody wants to hang out with somebody that never wants to go to the water park. Buddy... I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm gonna be amazing. Let me explain it to you this way. Molly, I said class is dismissed. Huh, what, what, no, I wasn't sleeping. Please don't give me detention. Molly, it's Friday, just go home. I don't wanna be in detention either. I just wanna enjoy my weekend. Okay, Mrs. Smith, have a good weekend. What am I gonna do with Molly? I should probably send a letter home to her parents. I can't believe I didn't get a hundred on my test. Aww. Daisy, what are you still doing here? I told you class was dismissed. I got a 99 and, and I, I didn't get a hundred. Well, that's because the last point was a bonus question. You didn't have to study that, so you didn't get it correct. But, but I study all summer long and everything. Seriously? Don't you go to the water park with your family or your friends? Neville, I always stay home and just do my work so I can get hundreds and become a famous scientist. Well, I, I appreciate your dedication to science, but I do think, honey, that you should take a break sometimes. The stress is starting to get to you. It's not getting to me. What are you talking about? Daisy, come on now. I don't want to have to give you a detention for talking to me like that. Sorry, I'm just... 
a little stressed over this. I mean, I know I'll do better. Can I stay a little longer? Suit yourself, but I'm going to the water park, so why don't you go ahead and lock the door when you leave? Okay, Mrs. Smith. Go into the chapel and I'm gonna get married. Go to the. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Tyler, I, uh, uh, I was only paid to be here an hour, and your bride is an hour and 15 minutes late, so, uh, is she actually gonna show up? <laughs> yeah, of course she is! Daisy's the love of my life. She wouldn't just, like, not show up for our wedding day. Well, it sh certainly sort of looks like she isn't. Uh, are you her mom? Yeah, I'm her mom. <laughs> um, let me go check on her. Uh, she didn't say anything about not wanting to get married today. I just need one more minute, and then I'll have cracked the code for this formula. Daisy, is, is Daisy, what are you doing hanging out in the limo? I'm, I'm almost done. I'll be right in. Daisy, your soon-to-be husband is waiting at the end of the aisle for you. Uh, are you having cold feet? Do you not want to get married? No, I love Tyler. I think he's a great guy and stuff, but, you know, my number one passion is my science project. Daisy... You're an hour and 15 minutes late to your own wedding. I know, but this is important. If I figure this out, I'll have cured all the diseases in Brookhaven. I think of all the people that'll have good lives. Well, they can wait till tomorrow, right? I mean, today's your wedding day. I can't believe she stood me up on her wedding day. We've been dating for five years and she obviously doesn't love me. <laughs> Daisy! There goes your groom! Don't worry, I'll call Tyler tomorrow. After I've solved this, of course. Daisy! Daisy, on behalf of the National Scientist Society, we would like to offer you this award. Yeah, yeah, put it on the desk with the others. I'm really busy. I'm curing cancer today! Oh, wow! <laughs> you cured Snowvid, too! That's amazing. Uh, would you like to go out to dinner sometime? Excuse me! I don't have time for boyfriends. I almost got married once, but that was a huge mistake. Okay, well, um, uh, good luck, Scientist Daisy, with, you know, not being alone for the rest of your life. I like being alone, I'll have you know. Daisy? Is that you? Molly? Whoa, you got a lot taller than I expected. Well, you haven't seen me in over 50 years. You were always too busy with your next science experiment. Molly, you, you're looking pretty good. You don't even have any gray hair. Oh, that's my hairstylist. She, uh, she definitely colors my hair whatever color I want. Last month, I had it purple. Oh, that's lovely. Um, I'm about to do my greatest science uh, experiment slash cure ever. Oh, really? What is it? I'm going to stay young forever! <laughs> oh, Daisy, I don't think that's such a good idea. Oh, that really hurt! Well, I've found out over the years that shots usually do. Oh, Daisy? Are you, are you okay? I don't know, Marty. I feel... I feel... Invincible! I didn't expect that to happen. I feel really angry though for some reason. Oh, uh, maybe you just have to fart. <laughs> that happens when you're old. Whoa, or maybe you have to throw up. You're turning green. I am super hungry for brains. <laughs> Your brains smell old though. I'll go get someone who's young. Daisy? What happened to you? Daisy! All these experiments and you ended up alone and as a zombie! And now you're trying to bite me! Huh? Somebody help! My sister's a zombie! And that's exactly why you're going to die old, boring, and also a zombie? Wow, I didn't see that one coming. I'm not going to die at all. I'm going to live forever. So it seems very important that I read this scientific journal today. Daisy, you're missing the point. You don't want to have to eat people's brains, do you? I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to live forever. 
Oh my gosh, my sister has totally gone crazy. Bonkers, insane! Maybe, Molly, but you're gonna die someday and I'm going to live forever. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Um, this escape creep bob looks, well, creepy. Molly, I don't know if I should laugh at him or cry at him because he's kind of goofy looking, but also a bit terrifying. Well, I say we play the game because um, I'm not afraid. Are you afraid? Um, well, uh, come on, Daisy. Let's do it. All right, so guys, we're going to play one of Packstabber's new obbies. We think his obbies are so much fun, so let's do this. <laughs> Is that Plankton's weird evil cousin? Yeah, it's Minkton. <laughs> Minkton. All right, let's click play. Whoa, this is like SpongeBob. Look at it. He says, hey, you, I need help getting the secret formula from crabs. Um, okay. Um, well, I already died, so uh, there's that. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, it's even creepier than it really is. Like, it's not really that creepy yet. Not yet, but it might get creepy. Daisy, jump on the barrels like me. Boing, boing, boing. See? Okay, aren't you just the uh, the expo? Um, all right, okay, there's an open door. We can go through there. Duh, Captain Avius, I could have told you that. Rude. Um, <laughs> that is who we're escaping. That is terrifying. Uh, I guess, I think, ah, I stepped on the burner. Oops. Step on the hamburgers, Molly. Yeah, that looks like nothing like SpongeBob. That's SpongeBob's evil cousin. Larry. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, <laughs> Larry, you are creepy. You're gonna make it. No! I died. But I think I actually um, clicked the checkpoint, so I don't have to do that part over again, which makes me kind of happy. Molly, one of those french fries is evil, and one of them is not. And another one is also evil. Oh, the dark brown ones are the good ones. A dead end. Quick use these bubbles to get to the other side. Okay, no props. Stankton. <laughs> Molly, did you just call him Stankton? Totally, I did. What? What? That was like a faux bubble. That was ridiculous. All right, let's try this again, Daisy. Oh, no. We have to go over the french fries again? It's making me so hungry, though. Oopsie. Molly, would you stop dying so much? Oh, playing Roblox obbies with Molly is like... The most frustrating thing in the world. Whatever, I'm not that bad, am I? Uh, guys, slam the like button if you think Molly's bad at Abby. Don't slam the like button right now, guys. Slam it later or something, just not right now. Oh, Daisy died. Daisy died. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> oh, wow. It's really cool. I like how that face goes wah, 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 when you save. Um, obviously these are deadly ingredients. If you touch them, you will die. They are booby trap people. I'm beating my sister Daisy. That never happens. I'm so happy right now. I'm coming, Molly. I'm coming. Don't you worry. Okay, watch this. Oh, that's the coolest checkpoint ever. Oh, man! A bunch of knives trying to chop, chop, chop me up. Whoa, I came so close on that one. Yes! Daisy, are you ever coming up here or not? Daisy, oh, where are you? Let's see where Daisy is. Oh my gosh, she's way back there. See you, Daisy. Oh, wait, wait, I'm confused. Where am I going now? I think I have to go down. Yeah, all right, I did it. Now what do you want? Stankton. I know what to do. Quick, jump on these fatties to get to that door over there. I don't know. They look kind of green and gross. I don't think I want them to be on my feet. Um, how do I get from over there, though? Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna make it that far! Oh, wait, yeah. They're, like, super bouncy. Whee! Ew, they're moldy! Whoa, am I gonna make it? No! Oh! Bummer! It's okay. Guys, I have a secret weapon. If you've not watched our channel before, you might not know this, but I have a pet unicorn, and in times of trouble, I just call my pet unicorn like this. Say it with me, guys. Power of the unicorn with her sparkly horn. So 
far, so good. I think I need to go to this burger over here. And then maybe over here? Yes! Marty, are you gonna wait for me or what? All right, fine, Daisy. You're taking forever, though. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, you don't always stink at Abby's and all of a sudden you're so great at it. Um, yeah, you can't go through the wall. You definitely die there. Uh, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know where to go next. Okay, now I'm behind my sister, which is super annoying. Whoa! Whee! Um, Daisy, where are you? Daisy? I died, duh! I don't know where to go next. Um, I went over here. It doesn't look like you can go anywhere. Maybe up here? No. Incorrect! Alright, unicorn. Quit being so lazy. I need your help again. Alright, Daisy seems to know where she's going, but she doesn't. You can't make it that far, Daisy. Duh. Well, Marty, it was worth a try. You can't jump up there, can you? Maybe it's just a trick. Maybe you can. Um, no. <laughs> totally died. Oh, Daisy's gonna try the same thing, aren't you, Daisy? Yeah, and it didn't work. Hmm. Ah! Oh my gosh, I died on the first try. That was lame-o. All right, let's try this again. Jump on these patties to get over to the door over there. Oh my god, did we just walk through the door? Are you serious right now? I feel like a real nincompoop. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so seriously, all we do is just walk through this like this. Oh my gosh, Daisy. We really are <laughs> blockheads sometimes. Yeah, Molly. I think we really will. Um, Daisy? Are these human hands? Yeah, Molly, but I've got a key. We can get out of here. Well, I need a key too. Um, and also, Daisy, I'm a little bit nervous about the fact that there's human hands in here. Well, Molly, the best thing to do is get out of here. Good point. Where is that formula? Listen, Stankton. We're trying our best, okay? Yes, Stankton. Wait, didn't you call him Maketon at first? Yeah, but he looks more like a Stankton to me. Super stinky. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Whoa, whoa. Look at all these stacks of cash. I wish I had this much money. I would buy all the Robux in the entire world. And I'd save a little bit for ice cream. Come on, Molly, what are you waiting for? Apparently, I'm waiting for another chance at this because I have to do it all over now. Oh, that's so annoying when that happens. Okay, well, time to speed up the video. <laughs> See? That happened at lightning speed, guys. <laughs> Finally, Molly, I thought you'd never get here. Ah! What was that? That was evil, Bob. <laughs> Or Larry, as you called him. Um, okay, well, I think I actually just escaped. Not quite, Molly. Watch out for the cars. And for him! Ah! He's so funny looking. I mean, he's sort of creepy, but also funny. Oh my gosh, don't run into a car. Then he gets you. Oh man, there's spikes in the road. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Molly, hurry! Larry is right behind you. I don't really know if his name is Larry. I think he's an evil version of SpongeBob, but... Molly, we made it! Oh, my gosh. Home sweet home. Oh, it's so good to be here. There's a button to open the door. Go find it. Oh, we're not done yet. No, Molly, we're not done. This game is going to never end. I just know it. Yes, I will. Besides, if it doesn't... Oh, boy, Daisy! That was awful! Um, Daisy just died in the most evil way. She got, like, caught up by that saw. They're probably gonna put you in a Krabby Patty now. Really, Molly? Yeah, they might. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, this one's super hard. Ah, I keep dying again! Oh, man. You gotta jump over, Molly. You can't touch anything on the sides. All right, here we go. This is gonna be the time I win. I just know it. Whoa. <laughs> I was right, guys, I was right. Okay, I'm pushing the button. 
I'm trying to push the button. Oh, I can't get a button there. I pushed it! What happened? Molly, no, no, now we have to go back and go back to here. Oh no, I died! Listen, Stankton, I can't help you out anymore. I have to quit. All right, um, maybe if I just do it this, this, it'll be better. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no! <laughs> I actually made it that time. Um, now I turned the button on, but now I gotta do this all over again. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Wait, I didn't even touch it! How could I have died? It didn't even move. Here we go. I'm like stuck up in the rafters. Okay, there we go. Come on, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, go, go, go. Okay, so far so good. Now I just have to make it past it on the way back. <laughs> Wait, uh, do I have to go all the way back to him? No, Molly, go in battle. Ay, ay, ay. I gotta tell her everything. Oh, finally. Wait, what's going on here? Shh, don't wake up Gary. I think the formula is in Gary's shell. Go check it out. Inside his shell? Oh, no. Gary just ate us. Ew, Molly, gross. Wow, Gary has some giant teeth. Come on, Molly. I know we're going to get out of here sooner rather than later. Um, with me playing an obby, I'm not really sure that's true. Oh, what's that say? Snail bites. That's so cute. Molly, don't touch those cans of snail food. They're definitely booby trapped. Okay, I did it. Whoa. It's a fishing lure. Seriously? How do you survive that? He just did, Molly. Okay, we cannot be killed. <laughs> Looks like he ate SpongeBob's homework. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that the recipe for the Krabby Patties? Uh, no, I, it's not, but I can't even see what it says. All right, guys, let's get out of Gary's stomach. Because that's gross. Smells kind of fishy down here. <laughs> where am I going now? I don't even see where I'm going. Okay, there we go. I think there's a, wait, no, yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, I fell, no! This part is really hard. Okay, Molly, you can do this. Star Squad fans, I need you to believe in me because this part is really hard and I'm really struggling. And when you guys believe in me, it means so much to me. See, when you guys believe in me, look what happens. I actually accomplish it. Now, where's Daisy? Daisy, are you still down there? <laughs> See, the Star Squad fans believed in me, but not you. Molly, that's rude. Um, I didn't know that snails like to eat mushrooms, tomatoes, <laughs> whatever that's supposed to be. What an interesting diet they have. Oh, no. I think we're about to become snail poop. Ew, gross. Ew, gross. Oh, my gosh. This is disgusting. Well, Molly. I guess they always say, better out than in. <laughs> Ew. Wait a minute. Did we do it? Yes, the formula is mine. Hooray, Stankton! You finally got the formula. Ooh, look, Molly. We get all of these amazing, cool crowns. Um, I want uh, this one. <laughs> oh, man, I look amazing. Hey, Gary. Thanks for making me snail poop. Not. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. This game was kind of weird, but um, we like playing, right, Daisy? We love all Roblox games. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Burr. Burr. Cold. 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 Molly, what, what are you doing? Are you building a snow? Whoa. Molly, why are you wearing a bikini? <laughs> it's almost Christmas, silly. I woke up this morning and I was dreaming that I was on a beach vacation. And so I put on my bikini. And did you realize that it's actually Christmas Eve? Uh, yeah, just now. Because my feet are in the snow and it's freezing. Do you want to build a snowman, Molly? No. I want to go inside and put on a Christmas sweater. An ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> oh, brother, Molly. Woo, mom's making pumpkin pie. This is going to be delicious. Molly, hurry up. I want to build a snowman. Okay, I'm hurrying. Okay, let's see. Is this the right outfit? No, I'll be too cold in that. 
Um, how about this? <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> I've got Rudolph on my sweater. And it's like, seriously, it's an ugly Christmas sweater. I did you like that, did you like that, did you like that? Yeah, you can go outside too, baby Kira. Come on. We're gonna build a snowman. Now, um, I think over here, like right in the front yard, is the perfect spot to build our snowman. I couldn't agree more, Molly. But first, <laughs> first I have to throw this snowball at you guys. Molly, don't you deal? I'm totally going to. Molly, don't. I don't want to have a snowball fight. Molly, come out from behind that tree, Daisy. Come here. I'm going to throw it. I'm throwing it. Oh! Congratulations, Molly. You made your baby sister cry on Christmas Eve. Okay, Um. now we can make our snowman. Whoa, the snowman's getting huge. My snowman's going to be bigger than yours, Molly. We'll see about that, Daisy. We'll see. Okay, Mr. Snowman, you have to be huge. Huge, Frosty, I tell you, huge! Okay, you're getting too fat now. I can't even move you. And my Frosty the Snowman's gonna be amazing. I just thought you were daddy so much. Watch out, Baby Kira, I'm gonna run into you! Oh my gosh, I just ran over Baby Kira with my snowman. Molly, I'm still gonna make a bigger one than you. Huh, I'm getting so tired right now. <laughs> like, literally. Holy guacamole. Okay, Molly, my snowman's almost done. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. You have to make the other parts of it, Molly. Sheesh. Holy guacamole. This is a this is a lot of work to make a snowman. Well, snowmen have three parts to their body, cheapest creepers. Ugh. Frosty, you're a lot of work. Yeah, and if it gets warm tomorrow, he'll all melt. It's not going to get warm tomorrow because tomorrow is um, Christmas. And, you know, it can't be warm on Christmas. Sometimes it was when we lived in Texas, Molly. Yeah, but we don't anymore. Now we live in Pennsylvania and it's like so cold here in the winter. I'm freezing all the time. I know, right, Molly? I don't know what I did. It was snowman. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm making a snowman, of course. Well, my snowman's pretty done. I just gotta decorate him now. La 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 la, Frosty the Snowman. Molly, that's not how this song goes. <laughs> Can't hear you, Daisy, singing Christmas carols. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to make a snowman. Hey, hey, Molly, that's not that we go see though. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, that's how I want it to go. Ooh, snowman. I make a little snowman. Aw, she made a little snowman. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Wait, when she threw it, it like grew a mushroom. That was weird, Molly, but I think that was already there. See, there's like a mushroom in our yard and some green and stuff. Not for long. <laughs> Aw, look at my snowman. He's going the wrong way. Well, maybe he's just saying hi to the people coming down the street. Aw, I'm gonna take a selfie with him. Selfie time. He is pretty adorable, Molly. Daisy, it is taking you forever. I'm gonna go have a snack. You're not even gonna help me? You didn't help me with mine. Jeepers, creepers. Ooh, watermelon. That seems like a weird thing to eat on Christmas Eve. Bert, it's freezing. Someone left the door open. Mmm, taco salad. Mmm, delicious. Oh, that was a lot of work making that snowman. Daisy's taking forever to make hers. <laughs> Are you? Molly, are you seriously taking a nap right now? What are you, old or are you a baby? Huh, what? Ugh, it just bored me so much because you were taking forever to build your snowman. Whatever, Molly. If you take a nap now, you're not going to want to sleep tonight. And it's very important that you go to bed early. What? No, I'm on vacation. I'm not going to bed early. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus won't come if you don't. Speaking of Santa, do we even have a Christmas tree yet? No. Um, Mom's too busy making, like, pies and stuff right now. Oh my gosh, no Christmas tree! What are we gonna do? I know! We're going to decorate! <laughs> okay, everybody get out of my house. 
Ali! What? I have to decorate for Christmas. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at the stockings. Oh, there's so many good things. How much money do I have? A lot. Okay, good. First of all, I think we're gonna need this nutcracker out front. He's so cute. He's kind of tiny, Molly. We could line the entire driveway with him. He'd be so cool. Okay, well, I'll put some nutcrackers there. Oh, can I put this giant bow? Oh, wow, they're expensive. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna put one here above our door. Oh, Molly, that looks so pretty. I like that. I get up with that. BBQ loves it. Wow, there's a lot of decorations now. Hanging snowflake, hanging ornament, a pile of snowballs, candy cane path light. Oh, that's better than the other ones. I think we might need this, like, right here, here, here. Molly, you're spending up all your money. I know. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> Gotta put one right here. Okay, I need some on the other side, too. Those are very expensive, you know. Who cares, Daisy? It's Christmas! Okay, there's some garland I can hang here. Molly is going crazy for Christmas. Totally am. Crazy for Christmas! I want my whole house to look amazing. Oh, wait, those are spaced kind of weird. Okay, let's go to the delete and then... Delete that, delete that. Okay, good. Now I can go back into build and decorate my house. Wait, why is this? Oh, that's build. No, I didn't mean the snowflake. It's okay, I'll put some up anyway. Holy guacamole, Molly. That's looking beautiful. Why, thank you. Haha. <laughs> I think I'm very good at decorating for Christmas. You really are, Molly. Holy moly. Back in here. Now I've got to finish my garland. So I'm going to just start here. I'm going to go all the way on the sides of the house. Because it'll look beautiful. Mario, cover it that snowflake. Yeah, it'll be okay. I'm going to move it, I think. I'm just going to go in here like this. And then I'll move the snowflake. No, I didn't mean to move that. I want to move this. Okay, there we go. I want to move this snowflake. What about a Christmas tree, Molly? Okay, hold on one second. I'm not done decorating yet. Illuminated Christmas tree bush. One over here too. That will look beautiful. And then, what else? Wow, they have so much stuff right now. What is that? Festive window decal. A reindeer? Are you serious? Yes, we need a reindeer. Molly, you're going crazy. <laughs> I kind of love it though. Stuffed Santa. What else they have? What? An elf on the shelf? A huge candy cane. Molly, where are you going to put that? Cheapos. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Santa's going to love Cubby Q. He's going to be like, holy guacamole. OMG. Daisy, look at this. La, 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 la. Molly, there's a giant. <gasps> it's Santa with his sleigh. That's amazing. I know, right? Okay, I've got to go find Santa now, though. Okay. He, I don't know if he's might be too fat to sit in here. Santa, why'd you eat all those cookies? I'm, he's he's not trying to sit on the reindeer. <laughs> he's going to sit on the roof. Molly, what's he doing up there? He got, he got stuck. He <laughs> oh, boy, Molly. You're silly. All right, what else do we need here? I think this is going to look so beautiful. Watch this. Holy guacamole, Molly. You're right. That is really beautiful. It's like we have... um, Daisy, you're in the way of my masterpiece. Sorry, jeez. Molly, how's Santa going to get out if you put all those shrubs there? Ah, uh, he can fly. Duh. I'm just going to put him back here like that. Um, What is that? Oh, a present. Okay, this we can get rid of these because it's like... It's Christmas now, so we don't need to have plants and stuff out here. Robbie, Molly, I love it. Okay, what else do we need? Oh, we need like a big wreath right here. Our house looks amazing. It looks amazing. I love it. We need more shrubs. Okay, I'll put more shrubs right here. 
and then like right here. Yeah. Okay, let me zoom out and see. Oh yeah, we need more. There. You get to spend all your money on the schwabs, Miley. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> They're very hard to like place in this bright spot. Miley, don't spend so much money. We don't have enough for a Christmas tree, please. Okay, okay. Ooh, large Christmas tree, giant Christmas tree. Just a regular Christmas tree. I feel like these trees should go. Like, I'll move those back here, but what we really need is this, like, oh, that one's, no, that one's bare. We don't want a bare Christmas tree. No! Na, 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 na. Okay. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Um, I don't know what I, a gingerbread man. Oh, he's kind of small. No, I don't want him. Large Christmas tree. Yes, it needs to be decorated. Jeepers. Beautiful! Holy guacamole. Now if only our snowman was like going the right way. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's so pretty. I love him. Molly, I have to say this. You did an amazing job. Thank you. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Okay, now you're just getting a little crazy right now, Molly. Okay, I don't know why that... That looks weird. That shrub can't stay. That has to go. Okay. Is there anything else I'm missing, Daisy? Yeah, the inside decorations, Molly. Um, yeah, about that. Ooh, a giant inflatable snowman. Molly, seriously, we need to go inside. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we went a little crazy for Christmas this year, but I love it. Let's go inside and give our family a Christmas tree. So the first thing I think we're going to do is just, like, get rid of this plant because, you know, it's Christmas, so we didn't need that. And then, where is the Christmas trees here? Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Maddie, can you stop singing? No, it's Christmas. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. Okay, here's Daisy's present. Really? You got me a present? Of course I did, Daisy. And here is Kira's present. I just got my ticket, Papa. And of course, we have to leave room for all the presents from Santa, too. <laughs> okay, here's some more presents over here. Let's see what other presents. Oh, we've got stockings, too. We don't have a fireplace, Molly. Don't worry about it. Santa always has a way. I'm trying to decide if I want to put some other cute stuff in here. I think that I do. More presents, Molly. I vote for more presents. Yeah, of course you vote for more presents. Who wouldn't vote for more presents? <laughs> um, okay, I need... Where is the other presents? Oh, this one's good. I could use this one, too. Put that one there. Maybe we need to put, like, some... Like, just move some around a little bit. Put this one here. Put this one here. Wait, where'd the last present go? Oh, that one's, like, really hiding back there. Put that one, like, there. That's that's already a lot of presents. Well, it's a few, but when Santa gets here, I'm sure it'll be a lot more. Okay, there's that. Now, where are we going to hang our stockings? Yeah, if we don't want to have a fireplace. I guess we could hang them. Oh, my gosh! Santa's on the screen! We can hang our stockings, like... Like, over here, I guess. Oh, look, there's a stocking for each of us. Mom, Dad, me, Daisy, and Kira. Aww. Oh. Molly, we should go into the kitchen and decorate, too. Good idea. Okay. Is that Halloween candy right there? Okay, that definitely needs to go. You're not going to eat it, Molly? It's Christmas! Ew! It's going to be so gross. Okay, Mom would like it if we had, like, stuff on our table that was pretty. But I really want to put a gingerbread house there. I know I saw a gingerbread house. Oh, there it is. Okay, here's the gingerbread house. We'll put that there. And what else should we do, Daisy? We should definitely put the poinsettia because Mom will really like that. Oh, that's a present. <laughs> She'd really like that, too. Um, let's put this right 
Oh, we'll put it on the counter. That'll be better. Good idea, Molly. Good idea. Okay, let's put this over here. Mom, I'm sorry, but I have to put your pumpkin somewhere. And by somewhere, I mean I'm deleting them. Molly! What? She's already made a lot of pumpkin pie. How much pumpkin pie can we possibly eat? Okay, I put the poinsettia there. Oh, look. There's like lights and everything. You can put them in your house. Oh! That looks so pretty. Christmas time is here. I think we're really good though for right now. Let's let's go inside and oh gingerbread man. No, we definitely need that. I love you gotta put him in the toilet, Bali! Yeah, um, we need a gingerbread man sitting on the toilet, I think. Oh my gosh, Molly, seriously? You didn't actually do it, did you, Molly? No, of course not. Oh, it's dark out! And it's snowing! This is perfect! Oh my gosh, Molly, this place looks amazing! Thank you so much, guys. I worked really hard on this. Guys, if you think I did a good job decorating our house in Blacksburg for Christmas, slam that like button! Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. It really does, Molly. I love it. <laughs> Baby Kira, what's wrong? She has a dirty diaper and many other things. We've been waiting here for like a long time for you to decorate. Okay, well, once you see the decorations, you're going to love it. Okay, can I oh, these are on. Okay, good. Let's go inside. Molly, she's really stinky. Okay, okay, so here's the gingerbread house and the poinsettia and this is gonna make you laugh baby Kira. Look at this <laughs> Gingerbread man in the toilet <laughs> Okay, you need to take a bath You're stinky I can't believe you put the gingerbread man in the toilet Molly Okay, baby Kira. Come on Daisy everybody. Let's go look at our Christmas tree so excited to show you guys. Yay! Look at our Christmas tree this year. Oh, it's so festive in here. Snowing outside and all of our stockings are hung and our tree is up and there's presents for my sisters and my family under there. I love it, Molly. You know, sometimes you really annoy me. Oh, well, Merry Christmas to you too, Daisy. What I was going to say is sometimes you really annoy me, but I still love you and you still come through as the best sister ever on Christmas. Oh, that's awesome, Daisy. You're pretty cool, too. Thank you, and we want to wish all of our Star Squad fans the merriest of Christmases and the happiest of holidays. Thank you for making our lives so amazing. You're like a present to us every day. Ooh, this is one of our presents. What? Presents? Yeah, our, our fans are our presents. Wait a minute. She's, she's getting into the presents. Baby Kira, you don't get to open the presents till tomorrow. I did your birthday, Papa Jack. Merry Christmas. Aw, Merry Christmas to you too, Baby Kira. Mom, Mom, Mommy, Mom, 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 Mama, Mommy, 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 Mama, 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 Mama. Molly, what is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom, 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 Mom. Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? <laughs> Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry! Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't! I'm starving! Mom, help! <laughs> can't wait any longer! Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR! Dad, no! No! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man! <laughs> Look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, um, I can't do my homework. What? Why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just going to skip it. 
Molly, no you're not. The answer's no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer! Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog, it's smiling! <laughs> Molly, do your homework already? Family, dinner's ready! Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables, no way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Molly is still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, uh, uh, that, that's, that's not fair! Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom! 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 Yes, girls? Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, Mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no. It's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? Oh! M.G. Our parents say no to everything. Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests. Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute! I didn't know I was a part of this decision! What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault! Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything! Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy... Exactly! Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly, you kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. <laughs> um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha-ha! <laughs> skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents! Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yep, yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. 
Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm-hmm. So delicious. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Loxie delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, oh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh, all right. But be careful, okay? We will. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> I'm going to ride in Mom's car. I'm going to ride in Mom's car. It's going to be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not Dad's, though. It's Mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven it all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we gotta go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy's after me. P I G G Y. Piggy, won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa! 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 Oh my god, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't, my door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight, I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes, that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the pot, the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pond! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes. Remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, Where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Um, uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. 
What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, eh. Uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh. You drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom. It's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait. You really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy. Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um, duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? Don't worry, Mom! I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna step over you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're going to go to the ice cream shop. Whoa, <laughs> there's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well, it was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Marty, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah, good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Molly. Maybe they'll want their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Molly? Yep, pretty much. You start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat a thousand dollars worth yet? Not even close. Molly, why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh! I know. I'm definitely gonna throw up. Definitely. Oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Where's our bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Oh! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Molly. Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, so much ice cream! Molly, get off of me! Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could... Bleh. Ew, Molly, gross! I don't want any more yes days. Never again! I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm gonna have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you could do it alone, Molly. This is just crazy! Gosh, I love this show. It is amazing. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. Do 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 do. Brightly colored unicorn. That's nice, Molly. I like this show too. Yeah, but I'm starving, Daisy. When's dinner? Molly, we have to make it. What? Make dinner? Are you crazy? No, Mom. Molly, Mom went to the grocery store and she left me in charge. No, she didn't, Daisy. Mom would not leave you in charge. She said I'm the re respa respa what's that word? Responsible? Yeah, right. You're not more responsible than me. Jumping on the couch, jumping on the couch. 
Molly, get off the couch. Well, who said you're in charge? Mom said I'm in charge. Now, come on, we have to go into the kitchen and make dinner. Yeah, okay, Daisy. I'm gonna watch, though. I'm not gonna help. Molly, don't be lazy. And don't eat that apple. You'll ruin your dinner. Yeah, right. Yum, 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 yum. That was delicious. Okay, let's see. What should I make for dinner? I don't really know how to make a lot, but I think that I have all the ingredients for hot dogs. Yeah, Daisy, because all you need is, like, hot dogs and buns. <laughs> Molly, that's so funny. Okay, I have to turn on the stove. No, Daisy, don't, don't. Molly, it'll be fine. Relax. Yeah, okay. Can't believe Mom left you in charge. Yeah, Molly, I'm the babysitter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My world is ending. My sister's my babysitter. No! Yes, Molly, I am. Yup, yup, yup. Wow. Well, you made some pretty good hot dogs. Come on, Molly. We'll sit at the table and eat them. Yeah, okay. Here you go, Molly. Ooh, these look delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, Molly, these are great hot dogs. Yeah, I want another one. That was so good. Me too. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Okay, Miley, who's getting the last one? Me! I'm taking it! Miley, you're so rude. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, Miley, go take your shower. Me? You're the one that's got a stink cloud around you. Molly, I do not have a stink cloud. Yeah, you do. No, I don't see. Okay, well, you must have ran in and put in some, put on some deodorant. I'm bored. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play the piano. Molly, no, it's so much time for bed. Nah, I'm gonna play piano. Okay, let's see. What do I want to play? I want to play. When you wish upon a star. Molly, seriously. What? Do, 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 Daisy, I smell your stink cloud. Go take a bath. Molly, I'm the babysitter, not you. But I guess you're right. I'll go take my shower first. But then you have to take one, Molly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to hide on my sister while, while she's gone <laughs> in the shower. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Whoa, it's raining outside. Okay, where can I hide? I've got to be really quiet about it. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and see if my neighbor has a pool. <laughs> I'm gonna go swimming. It's gonna be awesome, Davies. He's not gonna even know where I am. <laughs> the pool's open! Splash! Woo! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Look at me. I can swim underwater. Woo! <laughs> Daisy will never catch me in here. <laughs> All you can see is, like, my eyes and my hair. <laughs> I don't see Daisy anywhere. <laughs> this is amazing. She's never gonna find me. She's never gonna find me. She's a terrible babysitter. She lost she lost the kid. Woo, swimming underwater. I wish that I was a mermaid. I wish with all my heart that I could be a mermaid. Daisy, you scared me! You were standing right there! Molly, you're being very naughty. Oh, whatever, Daisy. You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me! No, no, no! You're not the boss of me! Molly, I am the boss of you, but I'll dance along to your song. Yeah, Daisy, do it! You're not the boss of me! Do -do -do. You're not the boss of me! <laughs> Alright, Molly, enough funny business. Well, I don't need a shower now. I got in the pool. Ew, 
Oh, Molly, you still need a shower. Why? I was in the water. I don't need a shower. Molly, come back here. I'm running the long way, Daisy. I just, I need some alone time. Molly, I'm your babysitter. You don't get alone time. Get in the house. Yeah, okay. Jeez, this babysitter's bossy. I wanted to I wanted to close the door but I couldn't get there in time. <laughs> you mean you wanted to close the door on me, Molly? Yeah, kind of. Molly, take a shower, you're stinky. Yeah, okay. La 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 Oh washing my hair Do 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 Molly be quiet the babysitter needs to think. Yeah, okay, Daisy. Ah, I'm all clean. Ah, I can't get out of the shower and let me out! <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Molly, why are you closing the door? Because I gotta brush my teeth, Daisy. And I, the door was in the way. Do 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 Brushing my teeth before bed You don't want to have funky teeth <laughs> Ah, that's much better I'm all clean and I brush my teeth Okay, Molly, you need to get into bed No, Daisy, I want to read a story first Okay, which one do I want to read? This one looks pretty good Yes! I got some more intelligence! That's good, Molly. Now, you have to go to bed. No, no, no. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jump on the couch. Wee, wee, wee. Molly, very naughty. Very naughty. <laughs> You're like jumping around, Daisy. That was crazy. Daisy, could I have a glass of water before bed? Yes, Molly. I will get you something to drink. Okay, Daisy. Thanks. Time for bed, time for bed. Where's all my pajamas? I need some pajamas. Uh, I guess it's time for bed already. I can't even believe it. Okay, Molly, I brought you a glass of water. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Daisy. You're the best mom ever. I mean, babysitter. <laughs> Molly, that's hilarious. I have to go to sleep too because tomorrow's a school day. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Daisy, turn off the light on your side. Okay, night, Molly. Oh my gosh, Daisy! You didn't put us to bed until 2.20 in the morning! You're a horrible babysitter. Molly, I tried my best. You're like the naughtiest kid on the planet. Okay, Daisy. See you in the morning. Night, Molly. <laughs> now that my sister's asleep, I can get out of here. Have some fun. <laughs> I'm a night owl. I know. I could go drive mom's car. <laughs> That'll be fun. Whoa! I ran into the wall. Kind of tired, I guess. Okay, I just want to say that I have never... I have never, um, driven a car before, so... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh no! I ran into the neighbor's mailbox! That's not good. Okay. Let's see if I can go this way. Whoa! Whoa! Watch out for that tree! Ah, I'm a terrible driver! Whoa! 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 Uh, uh, it's raining. That's, that's why I'm such a terrible driver. Ah! <laughs> I keep driving in circles. Yeah! Oh, no. I ran into that tree right there. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to get the car back into the house before Daisy finds out. Here I go. Ah, I keep running into trees! Oh, no! Ah! 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 Why didn't my mom teach me how to drive yet? I don't understand why. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Okay, I guess I'm going to have to leave my car here. I have to run back home now. I 
I'm gonna dance while I run. <laughs> that was funny. Wait, how do I get home? I'm so tired, I can't remember. Oh my gosh, is that Daisy outside? <gasps> I better hide behind this tree. She's gonna know. She's gonna know! Oh my gosh! Hopefully she doesn't come over here. Oh my gosh! Did she see me? I don't think she saw me, guys. I think I'm still good. Molly, where were you? You're so naughty. Where were you, Molly? She can't see me. She can't see me. <laughs> She's gonna run right by me. Shh. Oh my gosh! She sees me! Run! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! She's after me! Mean babysitter! Mean babysitter! Where's the car? I bet I can make it get away in the car. Okay, maybe not, because I'm like the worst driver ever. Oh my god! Daisy's in the car! Ah! <laughs> oh no, Daisy! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm so sorry, Daisy! I didn't mean it! I'm gonna jump into the water. She won't do that. I know she won't. <laughs> she won't find me down here. I'm <laughs> swimming away. Ah, she's driving our car under the water. <laughs> Daisy, you're a crazy babysitter. Miley, get back in the house right now. Oh, man, I've been caught. She sunk our car. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. You sunk our car. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious, Daisy. Holy cow. Well, she can't get out, so I guess I'm home free. Hope I can run faster than the car. Because if she gets out of the water, then she'll beat me back there. And I kind of want to make her think that she just dreamt this whole thing. <laughs> I think I can do it. I just have to get back to my house faster than her. Oh, I'm almost there! I'm almost there! Oh my gosh, this is awesome, guys. She's, she, I'm gonna just be like, what are you talking about, Daisy? You're sleepwalking. I didn't leave the house. She left the door open, too. I can't get in, this, in the house! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, no! Ah! Daisy, what is wrong with you? Oh, I've been sleeping the whole time. What? What? You you have been? But but. Oh no, Daisy! You've been sleepwalking again. Oh man, I almost set my alarm. Hold on. Molly, I knew I wasn't sleepwalking. Yeah, you were, Daisy. You better go back to sleep. We have to wake up in a half an hour for school. But Molly, I swear that you you were running around and and also you you were you were <laughs> Wow, that was a close one. Oh my gosh. I thought my sister was gonna catch me, but she didn't. <laughs> I only have a half an hour before I get to, to get up for school. I better go to sleep. 